The Code Alliance says it's ready for the national dialogue, but says the government is yet to communicate officially over the demand. The three code principles, Raila Odinga, Kalonzo Musioka and Moses Wetangula, were at the Orange House on their periodic briefings where it emerged that despite the president's nod, no official communication has been forthcoming from State House. Because there's been no invitation to anybody. Because there's no dialogue to which the president can invite anybody. That's when we want to start the dialogue. The president only actually accepted the challenge that yes, we are ready to dialogue. Court leader Raila Odinga challenged the government to constitute a team to engage the opposition over the same on its demands for the anticipated national dialogue. The most important thing is to agree on principles that they set a team and we found a team. Uh, we are ready. We were ready yesterday, uh, if we are ready today, so we will be able to engage. Raila denied the claims that their demands were a decoy to join the government. But I don't know where anybody got <laughs> a misguided notion that we are craving to get into a government. We have not said, we did not say it. We will not even say it. The court team took a swipe at the government for what it claimed as a revised foreign policy that is discriminatory. We don't acquire new friends by abandoning old friends. But today what do we see? We have uh, a jubilee administration that has completely shut the doors to the West. Our, our business is to make sure that the policy of non-alignment engagement with all the friends of this nation. But at a, at, a, at a price, if you have to negotiate, that issue has been handled very well. They said, tutasema na kutenda. Na hile mbawa unafanya ni kutenda. Tendering. Speaking separately, Ruaraka MP TJ Kajuang accused the Jubilee for its double talk after it emerged that the ruling coalition had ruled out any talks with the opposition. When Duale is trivializing a national issue, a matter that concerns Wanainchi, something that Wanainchi can put their life for, then they are not in touch with Wanainchi. Samson Kitavi, Channel One News.